we are going over sound deadening the car. If you guys watched the intro, which if you got to this point, you probably already watched it. Basically showing you how loud the exhaust is, how loud the drone is with the windows closed um, and then open. So I'm going to try and fix that today. I don't know if it's going to completely work because I know sound deadening your car is more for like road noise and whatnot, but I'm going to give it a shot. So right here, I got some kill mat. I got this from Amazon. Uh, you can see right there's pretty much the sound deadening stuff and it's sticky. So I got this on Amazon for, I think like 45 bucks for all of this. So it's a lot of material. So you need some of these. These are what pretty much even out the sound deadening to the car. I think these for like both of them was like six bucks. And then I picked up some purple power. This is a degreaser. This is to basically clean off the, uh, the bottom. I'll go ahead and get all this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that sound deadening material and basically line all the exposed metal in here and then go inside like the battery well here. And then I'd like to go under this. I don't know how hard this is going to be to remove. Um, so I might not do that. But if I can just do even this section, I'm curious to see how well it'll work. So there is a B. Oh my gosh. The biggest reason I'm doing this is the drone with a single exit is just absurd. It is, it's so bad. Um, so this is the SP1R. It's a full three and a half inch titanium with I think a five inch tip. And then I'm a catalyst downpipe and a big turbo. Um, but just the drone is unbearable, especially like when you're driving with the windows up and it's raining. Like I feel like I almost have to to yell to talk to the passenger so i figured i'd give this a shot just to see if it helps at all but i guess we'll find out so i took the battery out i'm going to clean up in here i'm going to try and line all of this and then i'm not going to remove all this it's just a lot more work and this is just a general if it works sort of thing then cool if it doesn't whatever i did remove these they're just simple little plastic pieces so I can go around all that and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna start wiping everything down and then I'm gonna start applying it and I'll show you guys some updates. All right, and I think I'm gonna call it there. So I was gonna put some on here, but then this is where the battery sits and I'm not 100% sure if putting this stuff under the battery is a smart idea. So I left that spot empty Although, honestly, that's probably where most of the noise is going to come from, being that it's closest to the exhaust. But I left that spot empty. I ended up not doing that spot just because there's a lot of custom pieces I'd have to cut for that. And I don't think that spot's really going to be an issue. If it does anything, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, whatever, because I'm sure it's still going to do something. Yeah, so I'm going to put the battery back in and I'm going to go take it for a test drive. See if it's, there's any difference. That was my front lip. So ending this, ending this message, ending this video in the car, I can't say I'm not impressed, but I can't say I am impressed. When the windows were down, it sounded more like now the loudness of the exhaust was actually coming from outside of the car, as obviously as that sounds. But with the single exit exhaust, it still sounded like there was a lot of exhaust noise inside the car coming from in the back. Now I don't get that so much. So now when I listen to music, it, it the music sounds better. Um, not a whole lot better. I mean, it's notable, 
but it, I mean, it's not, not that much better. And I mean, I didn't do a huge job. Like I didn't take off all the panels and I didn't do, you know, all that stuff. It was a simple little like exposed areas that I could get to easily without removing everything. So that part, yeah, I think I might've benefited a little bit. However, if you keep the windows up, I'm pretty sure there was like no noticeable difference. Maybe with music on a little bit better, but nothing I could actually notice. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess this video is, should you soundproof your car or if soundproofing works or sound deadening works? I don't know. This is just a video, testing it out and seeing uh, what you guys think. Anyways, that's all.